Concrete's actually the number one used man-made material in the world. So it's quite important because concrete, or more particularly the cement that goes into concrete, is a huge contributor to greenhouse gases. So we're looking for a new method or new generation of concrete moving forwards that has more eco-friendly performance to it. Hi, my name is Dr. Thomas Vinson. I'm a senior lecturer of structural engineering. I always had a passion for building something. Even as a young child, looking at Lego blocks, building things, you see these huge 20 to 40 storey buildings surrounding you. Wow, how did they do that? How did they actually make this? That's where I grew my passion for structural engineering. One of the research breakthroughs that I've had is incorporating the waste-based material of recycled tyres, so recycled rubber, as well as recycled plastics, two separate materials that we're putting into concrete. And the truth is, if you understand it enough and you have the right ratios of this waste-based material, you can still get the same performance that you get from standard concrete. We've already connected with the local council who wants to use this eco-friendly material. Here at Flinders Hospital, some of the waste-based single-use plastic that's been used in the hospital is then going into the concrete that's being used for the footpaths and the curbing in that council. Structural engineering has a very tangible application. So any PhD student that's doing research now, five to 10 years down the track, they'll be looking at buildings that have these construction techniques used, and they'll be able to see that direct impact from the research that they did five, 10 years ago. It's very exciting to be able to change the world and look at this new generation of concrete and the technology or the equations that we're looking at now has that impact in the future. It's very exciting.